The technique here that I'm about to show you will change your life, literally. Hi, I'm Marion and welcome to Marion's Test Kitchen. Okay, so I have something really cool that I'm going to be testing out today because I have a really amazing shoyu ramen recipe, which you guys love, but it takes 30 hours to make all the things, the beautiful broth, the pork, the eggs, everything. I'm going to attempt to make that in like maybe two hours or less and I'm going to do it all in a microwave. Are you ready for the big reveal? This is going to be a big reveal. So this episode is part of a series where I test out all the things. I test out products, methods, gadgets, techniques, so you don't have to. And today, for this episode, I'm proud to say that I have partnered with Panasonic and I'm going to be using their microwave to do all the things. Now this guy is really cool because not only does it do the microwaving, but you can also steam, you can grill, you can bake, you can roast. It's pretty much like, it's a bit magical. It's a bit cool this one. We're going to test it out. One of the most important elements of a shoyu ramen is the chashu pork. Now my original recipe is quite the palava. Um, there's three hours of cooking time, there's marinating time, there's like an overnight marination um, and, and grilling and all this stuff. So I want to see if I can do this a little faster using perhaps the steam function here to really make this work faster. So the first thing I need to do is get my marinade going. For my marinade, I need some soy sauce, sugar, mirin and sake. I also need some garlic, ginger and just a little bit of water. Now for the pork itself, there's quite a bit of technique here in terms of rolling and tying, but don't worry, I got you. I got a really easy way of doing this. So start out, just make a little fold halfway through the string, pop that onto your chopping board. I'll just grab my pork here and you want to just roll it up pop it down onto the string that you put down before. Lift this piece up over the top. Now you want this part to just fall just into the center of the piece of pork there. The bottom two pieces of string come up and then you pull it and there you go. It's like literally like the coolest butcher's technique for doing a rolled piece of pork. There's something so satisfying about making this look so good. <laughs> So once you've got all those lovely ties through there, flip your pork over and then just tie it up. There you go. Now, pork goes into the marinade, just roll it around a little bit. And now we're ready to test out this steam function. I'm hoping the steaming will sort of replace that really long, low and slow oven roasting that I do in my original recipe. So let's give this a go. So now I'm going to steam this for, I'm going to give it 30 minutes, I think. And then I'm going to flip it over and we'll come back, do another 30 minutes and then see what's happening. All right, let's see. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, I need to bring it out. I need to see what's been happening here. So the thing I'm looking for with my char siu pork is that I need it to be soft, but I don't want it to be too fall apart because we need to be able to slice it into nice slices for the ramen bowl. This feels pretty good to me. Like, you know, it's still some nice give there. And, you know, when I did this the regular way, it was three hours in the oven to get it to this texture. So. I'm pretty happy with this. What I do need to do here though, is I need some color, like some sticky glaziness on the outside of this pork belly. So I'm going to pop it onto a baking rack and then I'm going to baste it with some of this marinade mixture as it grills in the microwave. Yes, this microwave also grills. Nice, come have a look at this. Look at, oh, <laughs> literally just scared myself. We're on the right track. I'm just gonna glaze and grill, glaze and grill until we get that sort of glazy stickiness that I'm after. And we are live. <laughs> Three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nearly. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty excited about this. Are you ready for the big reveal? This is gonna be a big reveal. You ready? You ready? Oh my God. Look at that guy! I mean, that is so cool. So I think in total we had 60 minutes steam, we had a 20 minute grill base situation and 
now we have this instead of the three hours plus overnight that it takes to do it regularly. Wow. Let's slice in here and have a look though. Wow, that is juicy. Look at that juice. And see, that is just like pretty much the perfect slice, right? For your lovely bowl of ramen. It's got a beautiful shape. It's got like that color around the outside. Does it taste good? Let me see. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's perfect. I mean, it's lovely and tender. It's not falling apart so much that it will fall apart in the bowl, but it's beautifully soft and juicy and tender and amazing. Yes, this is so exciting. Ramen broth is one of those things that takes a long time. My original recipe takes four hours, but you can go anywhere up to like 12 hours simmering a ramen broth. But what I wanna know is can I use a microwave, so microwave power to speed up that process? The technique here that I'm about to show you will change your life, literally. It's changing my life already. <laughs> First of all, I do need to roast up some chicken and vegetables. So I'm gonna go in here with some chicken wings that I've got and some carrots. I need some oil here, just a little kind of sprinkling and some salt. Now I'm really lucky here because my Panasonic microwave has this really great function where you can actually grill, roast and microwave like in the one go. <laughs> which is amazing, it speeds everything up. Obviously this is something you could do in an oven, it would take you probably over an hour. Uh, I'm gonna pop it in here though and do it for 30 minutes. But I wanna do convection microwave and grill, which is combination setting number eight. And power would be good. Why do I always have this power from? <laughs> I'm gonna do my 30 minutes, start. See what happens. This is a really good book. You read this one, Dax? <laughs> <laughs> Chapter five is great. Ooh, nice. Look at that color. This color is really important because color is what gives you the depth of flavor and the color um, of your broth. So at this point, now we can do our microwave broth. So using microwave power and seeing just how much we can cut down that simmer time from the four or 12 hours that it would normally take. Okay, so I'm gonna get my chicken and carrots into a microwave safe dish. Now I need to add my kombu, which is dried seaweed, dried shiitake mushrooms, soy sauce, ginger, garlic, and some spring onions. I'm gonna to top that up with some water, pop the lid on, and put it into the microwave and microwave it for 15 minutes. 10 seconds, standing by. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, I got it! All right, let's have a look in here. Ooh, promising. It smells great, so the real test will be what it tastes like. Ooh, oh, I can smell all those aromatics. One of the things that I love about a really good shoyu ramen broth as well is the clarity of the actual broth. And sometimes when you're like simmering it or bubbling away, you get um, a cloudy kind of broth, but this looks, I haven't even strained it yet, and it looks really clear and lovely. Like, I'm pretty excited about that. Wow, that's so incredible. That is so crazy that you can get that in 15 minutes in there. I mean, you have to simmer that for three hours usually and that is just like, I can't even, you just have to make it. <laughs> it's like life changing, yeah. Hayley. Yeah, it's, literally, it's, it's, like literally. this is how I'm gonna make broth from now, like stock from now on, right? Like that's crazy. So I do need to strain this, take out some of these bits, strain it off and then our broth is pretty much ready to go. So I've literally like smashed through this ramen recipe. We have all the big guys done, the chashu pork, the broth. Now we're gonna build a bowl. So in the spirit of, you know, making all the things in the microwave, I'm gonna make my noodles and my egg in the microwave, and then we're gonna build up that amazing ramen bowl. Okay, I'm gonna take my ramen noodles, pop them in some water in a microwave safe dish, and then microwave them for 13 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna mix a little bit of seasoning in my ramen bowl, which is just soy sauce and mirin. Then I'm gonna take my noodles and pop them into the bowl. And then I'm gonna poach my egg. I'm gonna crack the egg into some water with a dash of vinegar. 
I need to poke the yolk with a toothpick. That's important, guys. You don't want your egg to explode. And then cover with cling film and microwave for two minutes. And then we're done in a magical two hours and 20 minutes. I think for me, the key takeaways out of this is one, making your broth in the microwave is like life changing. Number two, I feel like being able to make this bowl in what was it, two hours and 20 minutes instead of 30 plus hours is pretty amazing. I'm loving that. And you know, if I had to be picky, maybe the egg doesn't look as nice as like a, you know, just a plain boiled egg, but man, the rest of this stuff looks so good. It's just so good. It tastes like it's been simmered for hours. So I'm one happy camper. That's it. We made ramen in a microwave. Is this no good outro? This one right here? <laughs> what about restaurant ramen in record time? I like it, Jamie. Restaurant ramen in record time. Restaurant okay, no, no I'm time. not cool enough for that. <laughs> I don't know if that was cool. Actually, I'm not sure it was. <laughs>